It's on the face. Good morning from the Royal Highlands Show at Ingleston for this Valley Black Nose. It's a beautiful day here. The sun's come out for the valets. We're expecting some large classes in these Valley Black Nose. We'll keep you up to date with the results as we go along. And then just pass it back to us. Oh, I'm not the ones that are not here for this. Mm. Sure. Do you mind? Do you mind? Oh, yeah, I'll get a match up for you as well. And, uh, and just mark it for the results. Yeah, course. well, I'll mark the ones that are not here as well for you, so you know. Yes, yeah, then. So the sun's come out, and uh, this is the first class. This is uh, class of This is uh, one shear of the boat, This is one shear, yeah, one shear of the boat. This is a class for the Valley Black Nose Tubs, one shear and above. And everybody's. Uh, Looking on from the ringside at a large entry in this class. So I'll leave that then. When I finish the class, I'll just come and mark it. That saves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Running about. That's what's on this side of the Judge working his way through these uh, this first class of rams. Our judge is Mr. Julian Walters from Oakhampton, Devon. The black nosed sheep originate from the Valley Canton of Switzerland native to the Upper Valley region and the black nose graze in the Alps in the summer months, June to September and though they're housed through the winter, the black nose is a very sturdy breed which is well adapted to the harsh conditions in the mountains and they even endure the lovely summer months
are just a little bit restricted to where we can move around in this ring. We will try and move around a little bit towards uh, the championships. Mr. Scott Thomason, all the way from Cumbria. So we um, thank Scott for coming and we have BBC cameras. Wish him all the best and hope and, he has uh, a other cameras around the ringside and, and in the first class we've been asked not to move around. Number we will attempt to uh, tell you everything that's going on. Miss Eva Lawton and in third number one zero six nine from Mike Anderson. The judge just examining there, lot 1995, Prendrick Farm. In the form of the Royal Bank of Scotland, Royal Bank, of course, synonymous with supporting the Royal Highland Show. So we thank them. And once again, wish Scott uh, an enjoyable day among the, the, the lesser. going to attempt to walk around the back of these sheep just to give you a bit of a view but uh, I might get told to sit down but we'll give it a go start with the Bali Black Nose, always a very interesting spectacle. There's a lot of people around the ring already there, and we welcome our judge, Mr. Julian Walters, from Oakhampton down there in Devon. And uh, uh, Julian's a very experienced judge as well. He judged the Great Yorkshire last year. He's imported a lot of Bali Black Nose. I'll come past you. Multiple county show champions over his time there. And I'll stay well. I'll there stay well out of the way. So, uh, welcome up here, Julian, and I hope you enjoy your day. If, if you'd rather me, it's just sat down all the time, you don't see anything. Oh, you put this there, is this live screaming? For the valley, yeah. Is this for the, the society or is this for the show? Society. But I'm conscious that there's a BBC camera over there. There is. So I don't want to get in his way. And there's another camera there. So I don't want to get in his way. Hey, just do what you need, eh? <clears throat> All right. I'll... I'll There we go. Lovely lineup of these Valley Black Nose. What a spectacle they are here at the Royal Highland. And what a fantastic crowd gathered round the ringside. Breed, very popular.
And there's our judge making his way down the line, inspecting all of these tups. I'm just going to pick something up, I'm not going to stand in your way. Is that you watching as well? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Of that beauties. Remember in the afternoon I did the lecture. Yeah. <laughs> Last so just here at ringside we have the past chairman of the Valley Black Nose, David Hodge. Um, David, can you tell us sort of a, a few pointers what we should be looking for? Because you'll be more of a, a knowledgeable about these sheep than I am. Well, the, the judge today, uh, Mr. Julian Walters, he's got the, the ram class here on at the moment. Um, this is a mixed age ram from the older tups to the, the younger shearling tups. 
so he's just gone down through and checked wool teeth mouth markings now he's doing his first pick so as he goes down through he's tapping forward his um, main sheep that he's going to go through again and gradually place so he's just cutting the numbers down and looking for a good square sheep good wool good markings good horn setting So we're hoping David will be able to stay with us through the judging because uh, he's given us far more information than I can give you. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Well, would I judged it. It was a privilege here two years ago. So, um, you know, it's one of the loveliest shows there is in the country at the Royal Highland. So um, we're honoured to come back again. And um, like you said, I had good classes two years ago, but they've doubled now. It's... Um, unbelievable the number of valleys here today and a lot of new faces so it's lovely with a, a breed when it's still growing aren't they just spectacular they are the power the wool and of course you see them in another month's time their wool is even grown another three or four inches and they look even more powerful now he's let them go see how they move they walk correctly there isn't any lame ones and then you see the overall appearance and character of a sheep. And when you're looking for a ram, you want them nice and mature, masculine. Have you been lucky enough to go to Switzerland? Yep, yep, been to Switzerland three or four times and been out there and done the grading course four years ago. So go around the country and to Ireland, America doing the grading. They must be quite a, you know, they're in the Swiss Alps and they, they yeah, must they're... be quite a, spectac a spectacle to behold. Yeah, in this time of the year they all go right up high in the mountains, right up on the top of the peaks in the lovely pasture up there of flowers and natural grazing and then of course in the winter with the snow they're kept in most of them in a traditional way they are kept in stables underneath the houses where the people live and so it, they don't keep many there isn't many big flocks it's a nice walking tap there isn't it? two there we're not there he is, he's gradually catching them up now. Oh. Oh, lovely walk. Oh. Now he's gradually going through them again. What makes it tougher, like I said, they're mixed ages. So each, some of these rams are older than the others. So you, you got them at different maturity. You'll know quite a few of these breeders. Yep, yep, no, I'm glad, yeah. you, I'm glad you said that because I've got a catalog. Yeah. We're gonna try and work them out. <laughs> If we can gradually get their numbers, and we'll work them out. We've got the stewards on helping us trying to get the results. Oh, so yeah. Between us all, we should... They, uh, yeah, they should have the correct numbers on. Let's see. We'll do our best. One gentleman I got his number on. We'll do our best. We will. Please, I'm pleased you're here. I'm pleased you're here. Right. Helping us out because we've been struggling. A tremendous class of traditional Leicester Sheerland Rams in first place were the Defiance from Kirk Stage, number 1084. In second place was 1076 from Andrew and Brown from Humphrey. 
In third place, number 1082, M&N Grey Estuary. In fourth place was Andrew Brown from Humphrey. And in fifth place was 1073 from Lisa Fleming. They do seem extraordinarily quiet. They are. They're, um, they are sheep that like people. Um, you don't use a, a collie on them like a lot of traditional breeds. Um, quite often you'd go out there with a sheepdog, they'll just stand to the dog or go the other way. But they'll come in with a bucket a lot easier. <laughs> they are a people's breed. Right. And um, they have got totally different characters from other breed of sheep. Well, we've got um, some awards coming. Here they come. Here comes the rosette. He's the head steward. So, Prendrick Farm is 1995. Yeah, so that's first prize. Taking the red ticket. Yeah. And it looks like... Um, Second prize is um, Raymond Irvin. Irvin. And this is Tom's, is it? Yep, yeah, Tom Blackwood. And again, Tom. So, Tom Blackwood. Yeah, Blackwood. That's it. He's in uh, fourth and fifth. Then we go down to six. We go to Pembroke as well, Jamie Wood. And then... You want to handle them now, don't you? I ain't got my glasses. Could you mark that one, Arlene? So first is 1995. Raymond, all right, good class, very good class. Made you work. We said you could put a hurdle here, and it was. So we've just got our judge joined us. We're on live, and uh, I've got uh, a friend behind me who's helping me. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you like to give us a few comments on that first class? Uh, that was a strong. Ram class, um, full of quality. Uh, uh, it was, you know, picking the different things that I was looking for, and you know, I went for the overall most breed type, and um, with a nice bit of bone, a l cracking head, and um, he just sort of showed the the qualities that I'm looking for in a, in a top. And you looked as though you were thoroughly enjoying yourself. Yeah, well, you've got to you've got to give everyone the same time, and you've got to because um, it's a lot of work that go into showing these sheep. So you need to make sure that you give everyone the same time and really look into each animal to make sure you, you know, you giving them making making it worth them paying the entry you know entry fee to enter this show. So that's what. So this is our judge, Julian. Here we have the result from Walters. Valley Black class. Very experienced judge, recognised in the breed for being one of the top men. And he's uh, definitely made his uh, pick today. In second place was number 1997 from Raymond Irvin and Jenny McAllister. And in third place was number 1989 from Tom Blackwood. Fourth was also Tom Blackwood, 1988. Fifth, number 1996 from Pendant Farm. And sixth, number 1991 from Harden's View. Tom Blackwood had two nice cups. Yeah. yeah. They grew. Well was he? Cracking. He was best covered. Was he? You, you wouldn't have thought that were Raymond. No. <laughs> You're on. Just be careful. <laughs> we haven't said nothing wrong. No, no. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> In a minute, we'll have to interview our overseas visitors here. Yes. David, David Hodge. So, David Hodge helping us out at ringside. We've got some overseas visitors here. As you can see, the yep, crowds are got... gathering around so, the um, now. For could the you, uh, mules. <laughs> could you oh, tell me class at the Royal where you're from, please? Well supported. Um, Irene and, and Jeffrey Gray from Northern, Northern Ireland. Ireland. Had their lunch. Um, from County Ireland. And they're Olympics. ready for oh, so you're not far overseas. <laughs> I'm just, uh, just uh, falling in the uh, trap here. Well known. Uh, and yourself? Jackson, yeah, Paul Whistle, husband, Jeffrey. Ah, right. You have the valets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 30 of them, so. And uh, right. we thank him for giving up his time. A very good, 2019. Very good flock in Ireland. 
they're they're getting more they're popular. popular. Yeah, they are, yeah. I mean, look at the people, you know, the people too. around this first class. class was extraordinary. I can't say. Right. I did cop two through there. I can see the ram lambs. We have the second class now coming in of the, um, this year's born ram lambs. Looks like another large class. How are you? All right, you? Okay. You had a good show? Yes. Very All right. Good. Very good, yeah. Between us, we're going to have some fun here, and we're going to do, um, we're going to have a bit of a, see if we can attract a few more people to talk to. Yeah, we'll find one or two in a minute as we get it going. David's going to find some culprits, and we'll have a few chats. You all right? Am lambs now. How many is there? Oh, they're still coming. When would ram lambs be born? These would be um, born from 1st of January on. 5 9, John McGregor Allen Falls. 4, number 947, Sandy Hunter. And 5th, number 955, William 12 ram lambs. That's it, 12 ram lambs. And you can see now Julian's having his first look round. It's always important just to walk up and down quietly, have a good look, and just get the lambs into your head. Just see the breed type, their expression, their markings, the overall appearance. Just let them sink into your head, and especially classes like this, large classes. And not to hurry. Like Julian said, it's now everyone pays the same entry fee and give their time up. So you've got to look at every lamb with the same eyes. They're still coming in. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's ideal weather, actually, today. It's not too hot for the job. Oh, so the sheep are not too hot and the exhibitors are not too hot. What's the mature weight of the, uh, the valet? It'd vary, wouldn't it? It would vary with the... Um, a mature weight, uh, a female male would be up to 80, 90 kilos. They are, um, people don't realize how big a sheep they are, actually. They're, um, you know, they're mature age. They are a large, good height. And of course, when they've got the full fleece on as well, it makes them even bigger. Of course, what a, a valley looks very different. When you shear a, when you shear a, a valley, they look some different when they've got no wool on. It was good fun at Carlisle last year. It was. The, it's a lovely two days. The Swiss, um, a lot of Swiss uh, visitors. Yeah. And I think they're coming over again this year. There was a fellow who was hand shearing against Cammy Wilson, who was machine shearing. Yeah. And it proved to be quite uh, quite an event. Yeah. It, it was is. the first valet show and sale that I'd ever been to. And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I've, I've been in the livestock trade um, all my life. Actually, ran an abattoir for 25 years. Did you? Where to? At uh, Yorkshire first. Yeah. yeah. And then um, I was poorly when I was 50 and got into live, got into photography and yeah. videoing and. Um, Went on from there. That's how we went on. And that was the first real experience I've had with Valley Black Nose Sheep. The people and the sheep, were. it was a beautiful, if anybody wants a really, really good two days. Exactly. That Black Nose Beauties yeah. show and sale. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure what date it is this year. It's or... August Bank Holiday. So it's the, the Friday and the Saturday of the August Bank Holiday, again at Carlisle. First day Friday will be um, the grading, and then um, in the afternoon, late afternoon and evening, different events and um, different lectures, 
a good raffle and then we finish with a nice barbecue and then on the Saturday the, it starts in the morning with the show finishes with the prize winners and then um, in the afternoon is the sale it goes right back to the ears then look at the wool open in front just run us through that again then so he he walk up look at the sheep first thing he does is he opens them out and makes sure they've got good teeth yeah the teeth are set right and then he lifts the fringe the white wool on the head and looks at the black um the, the right so we're back with you We've got a, a few internet uh, difficulties but we're gonna do our very very best so david hodge and i are at the ringside and uh, this is the ram lamb class yeah we're on the ram lambs julian's just nearly at the end of his last few sheep ram lambs for inspection when he gets to the bottom he'll go up through and i would think he'll draw forward his final six and then i expect he'll let them go so like we said, he's just finishing his handling down through of the lambs. Uh, can't hurry the job. Go through, check every lamb the same. Afterwards, the people on the showground, if you want to go back to the pens and have a look at the sheep in the pens and talk to the breeders, they're a helpful bunch of people, they don't bite, and they'll tell you more about the breed and um, how and where to keep them, if you're interested. So, um, everyone's here is helpful and here to promote the breed. I think it's four classes we've got, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We'll start after this class. We'll start the females. I think they're large classes, and I've been told there's some lovely females here today. So that would be interesting. Again, there will be um, the older you, shearling you, one-year-old you, and then lambs. So plenty more to see, and a lot more work for Julian to do. So, a little bit about our judge, he has uh, with you a flock of black bows? Yeah, Drew and myself, we imported um, 15 in 2014 from Switzerland and um, we've kept a close flock of natural breeding. Um, at the moment we, we go, keep, oh, here we go. He's, traditional Bluefish Lester Ram Lamb class. A fantastic show of Ram Lambs. What nah. a class of tough. Superb. And in first place was number 1101 from MNNZ, Eskley. Second, number 1076 from, eh, sorry, number 1096 from CNN, Harry. Third, number 1098 from Sophie Harding. Fourth, number 1091 from Hazel Brown. And fifth, Number 1095 from Alistair Crozier. Well done, exhibitor. What a class of lambs. Superb. So he's just pulling them forward. Yeah, he's pulling his um, final few forward. And um, he'll politely ask the rest to leave the ring now. And it will give him more ring to concentrate and go through the finer points of these last ram lambs. There he goes. We're going to let them go and see how they move, how they walk, how they cover the ground. There he goes. They've split up a bit, they'll bring them back in a minute. The black hawks, the black hawk 
back legs. Is that characteristic? Yeah, characteristic. As you can see, they're going to have the black feet, the black knees, and, and, the, and the black the ring there, Everybody excited about this. We're the female You're champion. Always going to have there, white in between. The black must never be joined in the, from the feet to the knees or from the hock to the back fetlock to the feet. So that you've always got white in between. If it's a jet black leg, it's um, not up to the breed standard. There he is now, Julian is just having his final check through. Like you said, they're, they're all ram lambs, but they're variation of ages in that ram lamb, so they do change on appearance. Any minute. Yeah, I'll get you a Do me a favour. Yeah. When he warms them up. Yeah. He's bringing them. Just ask him. Yeah. There he is, the, the owners have caught the sheep up again and now Julian's having his final check through. There we go ladies and gentlemen, there that's uh, the, the age view that's been pulled in there for the female champion, that's from uh, the, the Campbell boys, from, uh, from Cowell, and that's uh, Roy Campbell there on the, on the controls there, Roy's a past president of the, of the recent past president of the Texas Sheep Society, a, a, a great win for the Campbells. There he is. He, he's drawn his first full forward lamb. So at the moment, that one's going in the top spot. Here goes uh, the second place. He's going up through. Third has been pulled in. So in the first at the minute. That first at the moment is um, the Highland flock, Mr. Raymond Irvin. Yeah. Second. Second, I don't know the lady. Her name is... Keith is director of the show there. And they've all been very much involved in, in the Sheep Society and, and the Highland show. That's Cat into second. And we see the ULAM coming in there from James Innes at Strathbogie there. Congratulations on that. That's a, that's a great There he is. Yeah. So and in the that, third place at the minute. Yep. Yeah, he's got them. So I ain't got my glasses, so I'm not very. <laughs> Just don't forget that this, this is the 50th year of the Texel Sheep Society. They're celebrating 50 years. So they have the numbers. So the days when they first came in in 1974. Anyway, standing in first uh, place. Going on all year it's Raymond uh, Irvin with the his. Texel Sheep Extravaganza. The number, I can't see his number at the moment. July, there is Carl That's alright, as long as we know the name. Yeah, Raymond Irvin, and it's 2013 in second. That's uh, Cat Losty. Cat Losty. The Nisdale Valley Black Nose. That's it. Excuse me. Excuse me. What's the number of third place? Yes, yeah, yeah. Wasn't. Yeah, I've got that one. Number three. Number th no, it's for this gentleman, the commentary. It's for this gentleman, the commentary. Number three. Julian come back, just finished the class. Yeah, nice lot of lambs. Pardon? <laughs> Raymond's good. Well, Jamie's weren't quite so good that time, were they? 
Now I'm off. I know again. So what Rain what Rain is handle like? What is it? Who's in the That's okay. That's a new girl in second. He is an otter. Yeah. Oh, is he? Raymond. It's nice landing in second. Uh, numbers. Raymond. Alright, oh, get my. live feed at the moment, so everything's away from me, it's been in the commentary. How did they handle the judging? Oh, all right, I think the right judge had a bit more to the class, so... Yeah. Yeah, for what it meant to be, you know. What I mean? He's got big old classes. He's just going to start the third class. What you look for in the valleys? Sorry? What you looking for in the judge league? Uh, the wool, the markings. Yeah, so the, the markings, like the front legs, you can see how they are. Um, the white in between, they mustn't be joined the markings, the same on the back half. Yeah. Nice black head and the wool's very important. You alright? You've been commentating? A little bit and I've been talking so I got me angry over it. To half pick them up like you just be careful what you say. Yeah. I haven't said nothing. I don't Right. How many? How many is in the catalogue for this class then? Catalogue in here. You one year or over. There's 23 entries in the catalogue. We'll be up. I told you wrong. 21 entries in the catalogue. 21. So there's still a few to come out. So it'll be another large class for Julian to judge. Are they all in? Oh, the gate, the gate shut, so they could be all in now. So Julian's going to start with... And the Ulam class of 17. The results in the Valley Black Nose, the Ram Lam class there, just, just finished. And uh, in the first place there, we're 2017 from Raymond Irvin and Jenny McAllister, the, the Highland flock, because Raymond well known to everybody in the Valley Black Nose. 2013 was second. From uh, Cat Lossy from the Nithdale Valley Black Nose. Uh, 2021, Robbie Taylor coming. from the White Rig. Um, Come on, and Jamie. Fourth in, in that class was 2015, uh, Fredrick Farm from Fredrick. And fifth was 2008, what? Tom Blackwood from Ayrton. Yeah, then we'll have lunch, right? You coming or what? So here we go. This All is right. the you class. Well, I'll see you. I'll get on All right, I'll have a message. Yeah? Back to the council ring just in time. There we go. 
is the supreme champion there. That is the, the age view from uh, the Campbell brothers, Keith Allen and Roy Campbell from Cowell. Uh, tremendous view that she is, and as I said, they're great supporters of the show there. And, uh, there'll be a party tonight in the, cam in the Campbell's camp, that's for sure. So congratulations to uh, Keith Campbell and Roy and Alan from Cowell. Texas has been today and congratulations to all the exhibitors for all the effort they put in there and all the spectators looking at you all know how much effort goes into showing these sheep and uh, superb show and huge congratulations to our judge James Draper travelled up from Shropshire. James no stranger to the show ring, no stranger to the, to the, the Texel world as well. Been in there and, uh, and, and won a lot of prizes, broken records and uh, it, it's fantastic to see James in there and enjoying himself so uh, well done to James. And thank you, of course, to our sponsors, Laurie and Symington, in the Texel Ring. They're very great supporters of the Texel Breed for many, many years. Laurie and Symington, of course, uh, from uh, Lanark, Lanark Market. And the reserve champion uh, goes to the Ram Lam from uh, uh, James Innes at Strasbourg. Um Again, a great supporter of the show and, and, and a great supporter of the Texel Breed. And in the, in the 50th year of the Breed, there's very pictures that the Campbells are in there. Roy was... We well, was time. president last year when the 50th year celebrations were, were being talked through and uh, it's been, a, been an absolute inspiration to the Texel Breed. So congratulations to the Campbells, congratulations to everybody today in the, in the Texel Sheep Ring. So I'm going to leave this with you a minute, David, and you can tell us what each we're looking for in these females. Right, now... Is it similar to the Rams? Or yeah, is it it's very, very similar. Julian's now just working his way, having his first look. Now he's going in to handle his first sheep. So same as before, you'll stand back, have a look, go in and check, check the teeth, then look at the head markings, make sure it's correct markings for the breed. Check around the eyes, chest wool, front markings, see what the bone is like. Work around to the side of the sheep, handle back through, check the confirmation. Check her other teats. Check the wool. There he is. Gradually open through the fleece, making a nice free fleece to open up. Sheep stand well, a leg, leg in each corner. Stand back as well, see nice female character. Now it moves on to number two. Check the teeth. Markings. There he goes. Chest wall. Work down for the front legs. Handle back through. Opening the wall. Nice free opening wall. The age view there that uh, won that class there, which she, she won the Royal Welsh as it came out two years ago. So no stranger to the show ring, as the Campbells are no stranger to the show ring. This, this beast has been out there winning before and it's great to see her keeping up her winning form in, in the later years of her life. Now she's being a real protective view. There he goes, finishing the second sheep, just having a quick look. Now moving down to the third one, check the teeth, nice black head looking at the markings. In class 115 in the north of England mules, the Zimmer Fielding or you sit on a pair of lambs. The results were first, number 2185, John Atterley, second, number 1382, Guy Robinson, third, number 1378, Ian Buck, and fourth, number 1383, Edward Watts. down and checking the third one just take checking the markings 
on the rear end. Now moving on to number four, checking the teeth, markings. So they've got to come on the pad. Yeah, they've got to come on the pad. Yeah. Okay, under the pad, and then you want a mouth that will last. That's the main thing of a, any animal, the sheep, and they live Talking off its teeth. of my previous um, work, as I said, I ran a meat business. This breed isn't a meat breed, no. is it? It isn't a meat breed. Um, uh, years ago in Switzerland, it would have been a dual purpose breed for the family. And then ring eight now, we're starting to see the, the Like I said, they would be there, kept the under the house in the winter. So the, the wool would be and, uh, used for making clothing for the family. Well, very to rich milk. For your um, the and, um, milk would be used for George's cheese and yogurt. And, the and, and then, of and course, the, the weather lamb, lamb would go in the freezer. Or kept so to eat. Can, the weather lamb. They will eat. They eat well. Yeah, yeah. We've had them before, and they're they're very lean. They're in a lot of fat on them, and they eat nice. And now I hear that there's also, several of the top Mitchell star the restaurants year. in the country uh, are getting to take their meat Island on. Well. So, um, you know, like I said, they are dual purpose. There he is, doing you now working down through these large classes. You can't hurry the job. You've got to check everyone, give everyone the same time. Got a young shepherd here that he's checking the sheep. So just remind us, this is the U class. U class. Yeah. Yeah. Shearling U class. Then we have the U lamb class. Yeah. And then we have the supreme accolade. Yeah. Well, group of three. Group of three. Yeah. It should be two. I think it's two females and a male. And then the championships. Yeah. And there will be a, a female and overall male and then champion and reserve and they'll go forward tomorrow for the the supremes of the show against all the other breeds and you have a different judge in that goes through the all the different breeds and there he is gradually going down through you want a valid judge don't you the thing is with the interbreeds and over in ring 10B, just away from the rest of these rings there, we, uh, the Shetlands are being judged and we'd very much like to thank the sponsors in that. that... Mm. Not to fall off, then. The results for the age view class in the traditional blue face Leicester. A superb class of views. Um, all credit to the exhibitors once again. And in first place was number 1112 from Sophie Harding. Second was number 1116 from you. Alan McClymouth. Third was number 1109 from Hazel Brown. Fourth was 1107 from Mike Anderson. Fifth was 1113 from Diane M. Turner. Right, we're back. And sixth, we're, back. we're on again. From Jack Wilkinson. Uh, we've actually got our own Starlink uh, supply for the internet. But even that's under pressure. Yeah. So, a bit of a cloudy day. Cloudy day, and so many people on the show grind as yeah. well with their phones. There he's Julian's about halfway through. Very he's... thorough judge. Yeah, you got to be. Look at every point of every sheep. Yeah. The most important thing is give everyone the same time. People, they go home then and they know they've been looked at and judged fairly. Do you have judges, uh, uh, judging days? Do you have the breed have a yeah, we standard? Have, yeah, we have a breed standard and then every um, autumn young judges can put forward and um, we will assess them on their ability and then they have to go out and shadow um, senior judges for three or four shows. And then they up to it, they go on the A pan, uh, the B panel, and that is one day smaller shows. And then if they do a good job, they go up to the A panel to do the county shows. And then in years 
after that, if you're good enough and your name gets put forward, you go on the elite as a grader. And that's when we get sent to Switzerland and we're trained by the Swiss society to grade the sheep. And like I said, it's voluntary in this country, but we have three grading events or four. We start the year in May in, in Northern Ireland. Our next grading day now is Monmouth, the 5th of July. Then we have Black Beauties, that's August Bank Holiday. And a new one we're having this year, a grading day, is Lanark on the um, 14th. A lot of us were breeding some excellent couple calves there that uh, many of his calves over the years have gone on to win shows, including the Royal Smithfield Show and many others. So a uh, very capable man in, in, in the cattle and the sheep world. Uh, and we've got a steward in here as well, who's also known in, in, the, in the sheep world there, Andrew Morton, better known as Shaky to most of us. And Shaky's, Shaky's uh, overseeing proceedings in here. Is Julian's gradually. Yeah, it is difficult. You know, some shows will, you know, judge will place down through, but some of these shows you are on a time scale, and so they only want you to do so many. But like Julian and anyone ourselves, you know, afterwards we'll always have a talk at the pen, and the exhibitors can, you know, ask questions and answer anything. You know, I will now, you know, I mean, the best of my ability. I said, Julian myself, we brought them over in 2014, direct from Switzerland. Uh, we've kept pure Swiss lines. We still have, haven't done any embryo AI work or natural servicing um, and just gone on from there. And we started, we brought over 10 from Switzerland and we sowed and bred up naturally, no problem. You know what I mean? They're a prolific sheep. They're good to lamb, easy to lamb. Um, yes, they will breed twice a year. The first year we brought them from Switzerland, we did lamb them twice in a year, and then um, we stopped it because it does pull sit in the UK. Oh. And of course, with the husbandry, you've got the shearing twice a year because they, you know, they grow such wool. Yeah. So you keep a few valleys? Yeah. And where are you based? Um, North of Dundee. So oh, yeah. Yeah, you're a fair way up. Yeah, fair way the results up. of that class, that was uh, class 116, a mule hop with a last foot. And uh, first in that class was number 1389 from uh, Jay Robinson from Intax. Yeah. Uh, second was number 2186 from yeah. John Arkley from And you've had a few Milton lambs Main. now. And third, 1390 again from Jay Robinson from Intax. It, it is so hard because these females are a, mi a mixed age in their years exactly, yeah. and with this breed it's the wool because everyone's wool is nearly at different stages yeah. at the moment yeah. and that is you know always a very difficult thing with a breed you know what I mean and then when you get later in the summer some of the wool's gone over and in ring 10 you're, you're watching an absolute and you've been, you've been of a to what a fantastic yes. you enjoyed it yeah, yeah. Blue good event yeah. Just, uh, what a, what a sight I haven't shown there I, I've been to watch it I have unfortunately but um, this year I'm hoping to enter good 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 and of course this year we're doing our first grading at Lanark yeah so Emma would say I need to keep some but again it depends what the fleece is like yeah yeah, because that's um, 14th, isn't it? 14th, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. And I, you know, with the wool and that, like last year was, was a bad summer for the wool because it was such a wet summer. But I hope this year, and, uh, now on, that we'll that get a bit of decent weather and then it will stop the wool for getting flaggy and, and matting up. Because I think they're talking about a heat wave coming, aren't they? We need one. One of the wettest winters we've had, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, take some sticking. Now Julian is on his last sheet down at the bottom, checking through. Then he'll have a close look at them all again. And then he'll gradually start picking his final number forward. It's like a drop of rain in the air, isn't it? Yeah, it's Just... not forecast to rain, no. Yeah. It's a Scotland anything. Yeah. Probably snow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> different types of fleece. Yeah. Uh, admirable. 
Yeah. Yeah, Raymond's a very. That's that's going out over the. Yeah, the fleece varies so much down through. That was the ram class 119. And this first is... in that class was number 1412 from AJ Carter so Millcroft. Second was number yeah. 1114, Patricia Imler from there Benaki. Is. And third was 1413 again from AJ Carter of Millcroft. I'm not getting your way, I'm just trying to find some stuff. Uh, Julian's finally going fair. through them at the moment. Be a good thing if I could find that. What is this thing that keeps slipping down? Pardon? Oh, is this? Do you want me to tighten this? No, it's okay. It'll stop there. Yeah, it should stop there. Thank you. Now Julian's got his final draw. So up in first place at the moment is two oh three five. This is a it brings down there with Jim Scott Thomas and now starting to sort out this great class. 22 gimmers in this class and they're just peas in the pod, aren't they? With a superb and huge amount of interest as there always is around the blue face traditional type. Go to the back, okay? Ah, perhaps not. No, he's moving him back. I don't know if he's getting ready to let him go. He wants to have a look at the front. Young Lance holding on. He is. He's pretty used to the job. That'll be. Who will that be? Oh, I don't know the lad. Get the numbers and we'll get the results in a bit. Yeah, I think all of them have got their numbers up. Looks like 2042 of Robbie Taylor's is going up to first place. Aha! Coming into second is. I can't see the number at the moment. Young man pulling. It's 2032. So that's Harden's view. So it's Robbie Taylor White Rig standing in first. That's it. And it's uh, Harden's View standing in second at the moment. And it's 2036, a pen book. Is that going into third? Yeah, going into third. And then we've got 2031 into fourth. And that'll be Harden's View again. That's it. And we got 
2027. That's uh, Tom Blackwood. And then we got In fifth Jamie, and it's 2035. That's Prendwick. In six. <laughs> there we have it. Judge made his decision. Standing in first place is uh, Robbie Taylor, White Rig. Standing in second is Harden's View. Third, Prendwick. Fourth, Harden's View. Fifth, Tom Blackwood. And sixth, Prendwick. Congratulations to our exhibitors. Nice tie. It must be, I would say, with those either a teeth a bit or handling. Good you know plus I mean? of uh, good plus of young ewes. Nice there. wool. I like that. You're right. Next class, uh, David. New lambs. New lambs. So, Julian, you need a word. I am no expert on these bloody black nose. David's helping us out. What a class of use, uh, young use. That was extremely impressive class. Very difficult. I was literally being picky with my decisions. I just had to go for what I was particularly looking for. Uh, the U in front just had the most breed head, most breed type, um, and it was just a lovely type of young U. Um, nice bone, perfect fleece. Um, it was just a good example of the breed, and um, yeah, I thought it was an excellent sheep. But the whole class was strong, and um, the quality you know, top quality, so I was very impressed. Thank you very much. Our man in the middle, Julian. Uh, Julian, surname is... Walters. Walters. Yeah. Well recognised as a top quality judge. Yeah, yes, so they, class, he was judging uh, Shetland ponies here. here. That's the U1 oh, was course. he? That's yeah. The U's and the Gimmers all in the same class together. A tremendous class it was. And... Uh, the first in that class was number 2042 from Robbie Taylor at White Rick. Uh, second was 2032 from uh, Harden's View. So we're here third, at the Royal Highland. Number and 2036 from Prendwick Farms. Fourth, number 031 from Harden's View. Fifth, number 2027 from Tom Blackwood. And sixth, 2035 from Prendwick Farms. So we're at the Royal Highland, uh, recognised as uh, one of the top quality agricultural shows in the UK. Um, and we've been very fortunate. We've had uh, a nice couple of dry days, but it's not been too hot, not too sunny. Um, and we, we're here in this Valley Blacknose Ring, and it's an absolute pleasure to uh, look at these beautiful sheep. And the class that we are now going to be watching is the U Lamb class. Commentators on the microphones forgot to switch it off.
you've actually looked at these Valley Black Bows and you've, you've studied them. They really are, I mean, I can't think of another word to describe them, but cute. Cute. Yeah. They are absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And the, with the wool and the markings, they just, they just attract people. Do you know, a lot of people struggle with mental health and issues, and I have in the past. But these just make you feel warm inside. Mm. Yeah. It, it's almost like they, uh, if, you, if you're feeling a bit low or a bit down, walk in a field of valley black nose. Yeah. When they're in the barn lambing in the winter and seeing the lovely lambs coming out marked, it's um, yeah, very special, very special. And I said it's here. We have the results from the ram lamb class in the roof, uh, class number 120, and first in that class was 1422 from JT Sale, uh, second was 1421 from Alistair Jackson, third, Patricia Emla from Benaki. Fourth, again, for Fisher M. Now, from Benneke. And uh, I've been corrected by the two students to say that properly, so Benneke. And uh, fifth is uh, 1418 from AJ Carter from Nobro. On. Just be careful. 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 What a sight that is. 22 gimmers in, in the class there. And just being very thorough. Given Back on. I'm really pleased we've got David Hodge at ringside helping me greatly because it means his knowledge of Valley Black Nose is far, far greater than mine. 
and uh, we need someone helping us with this commentary so as we when we're broadcasting we're going worldwide it's all right me reading notes but it's far better to hear from someone who's specifically involved with the breed know what they're talking about giving us some great insights into how the breed performs etc etc and i thank you david very much it's been really really helpful to me um we've had comments from america and they're very very pleased with all the information that we're giving them um and it's um it's a pleasure a real pleasure thank you no problem no problem anytime we're here to help the breed and to help the breeders and the public to have a view in on this breed I think what would be a, a real a good idea is um, if we had a microphone at ringside. There's a lot of public about. Yeah. And the microphone at ringside, somebody like yourself operating that microphone, telling the public all about the breed. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, I've got... Um, a young lady, Orlina, who helps me with live streaming. She does the cattle and uh, she is very knowledgeable of cattle. Very knowledgeable of all the generic native breeds and all the um, <laughs> continental breeds of sheep. But the Valley Black Nose... You just this. What the... Yes, please. Just had somebody offer us some water, so he must be looking tired or working hard or something. <laughs> so, Orlina, what is your opinion of the Valley Black Nose? Because you know they're from Switzerland, but there is something about them that they are what I call cute. Yes, they certainly have the cute factor, and I myself saw them first from this farm and life with the Raymond Irvine, um, and they're very different, there's no other sheep breed like them, and I think that really is what can also draw the crowd here. Um, they're a very kid, if, if all children would like a valley black nose, they are lovely, um, and we can see that the breeders obviously really like them as well, the ring is packed, and when I was reading the um, numbers out to yourself this morning, we couldn't quite believe how many sheep there was going to be turned out for the Valley of Black Nose this afternoon. So that's Orlina, she helps us with the live stream with the cattle, and that's her opinion, and that isn't me um, asking her and telling her what to say, that's her opinion, and that's what live stream's all about, people give their opinion. Unfortunately, it might not be the opinion that everybody likes to hear, but that is the live stream. That is the live stream, and if you want videos put up in three days' time that are recorded and people are told what to say, that's fine. But live stream is unique, um, and we're proud to bring this live stream uh, from the Royal Highland Show for the Valley Black Nose. It gives us great pleasure. Um, and we hope we're giving you some of the atmosphere from this tremendous show of, um, of Valley Black Nose Sheep. And it's not only the sheep that are cute. We have quite a um, renowned breeder who has really done the breed a lot of good. And tell us who that is, Olina. This is Raymond Irvine, not, not from my opinion, but from um, my boss's wife, Helen's opinion. And this was also certainly discussed throughout um, us yesterday with the cattle breeders. There was lots of other women also in full agreements with Helen. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, Mr. Raymond Irvine is a fan amongst the ladies.
Raymond's very famous with this farm in life. And he's uh, and in ring seven now we're seeing the He's done the, the breed a lot of good. Coming, a lot of good. The show. Always again a very this farm in life and the broadcasts with the valets he's uh, brought them to the fore and, we've got our judge, uh, and the general Ellen, public have realised uh, specifically what the today. what the valet black nose is uh, all about well ever as judges are all well show before and uh, and many other competitions as well round and about there and he's involved in Veltex also border Leicester's Texas and Charolais and sold Veltex rams in the past uh, 8000 and won the flock competition in 2019 and uh, Will Farms are uh, beef and suckle herd down there in, in, in Wales and the fattening unit as well, together with 1,600 crossbred ewes and 80 pedigree Beltex. So welcome, Will. And uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors for the Beltex classes, uh, Royal Bank of Scotland, always great supporters of the Royal Highland Show, have been for many years, and uh, it's great to have their continued support in the Beltex classes. Yeah, I don't know what we're saying. So also you've got to remember this live stream is not scripted. We've come in here and we're literally trying to convey the the wonderful show of sheep. Um, and a round of applause well deserved in that gimmick class. Eh? What a great class and a, a fantastic win there. And uh, we'll, we'll bring the results to you there. The first in that class was number 1125, Alistair Crozier from Kinguinea. I'm pronouncing that right, correct? And uh, second, number 1130 from Sophie Harding. Third, number 1138 from uh, Alan McClymouth, of course, of, of Kirkstead. Uh, fourth, 1129 from Alex Gray. And fifth, 1119 from Lisa Fleming. So well done to everybody in that class. What a great class of givers. Sorry, it sounds like we made an error there. My, my apologies. It was one one two seven that was winning that, so that was from uh, from the DMT Parry from Nan Nanpi. Championships. Valet, don't we? Yay! We all love a valley black nose. Yeah, we had the U 
uh, over one year, so the older you there, and, and that result just coming in there. First in that class was number 1426 from Dave Teasdale. Uh, second was number 1425 from Ali Jackson. Third, number 1427 from R.A. Rundle. And fourth, 1424 from Patricia Imler. So this is the first pick. Yeah, yeah this first final lineup as we brought them forward. They're not being placed, just brought forward. Got them clearer. Ring seven. Will Evans is sorting out the the old tops in the Beltex classes and. Uh, the Beltex, of course, a Belgian textile, that's where the name came from originally, came into the country around about the millennium. Uh, it's become extremely popular for their, for their double muscle and their ability to put on a, put on a back end on, on, on carcasses. There he is, Julian's having his final look down through. And after this, we then go to the group. Yep. And then the accolade of the, Start the championship. championships. And if you get a championship, or if, if someone receives a championship at the Royal Highland Show, that is quite, oh, yeah. it's, it's quite an honour. Yeah, it's an honour. It's, um, yeah, lovely for the family involved, for the stock. And it gives you um, a real boost to keep going and keep showing. So these sheep will perform on grass. They'll perform on hard feed, just like any normal. Yes, yeah, yeah. They'll um, they'll live and survive like any other breed of sheep. Um, in the winter, they do enjoy it indoors, but we we farm 1,400 feet on Dartmoor, and they um, they go out every day. There he is. He's had his first pick forward. So and, um, provisionally the first pick. The first one at the moment. There's a second. There's third one out. Fourth. I'll travel up and see if I can get the numbers. Find the numbers. See that second number? Oh, no, uh -huh. it's the last of the game, but it's in the pocket. Oh. <laughs>
There he is, Julian's finished the ewe lambs. First prize, Mr. Raymond Irvin. Second prize, Mr. Jamie Wood. Third prize, Mr. Jamie Wood. Fourth prize, Mr. Raymond Irvin. Raymond First Irvin. Place. Yes, Adele will then. Yes. Friendwick. Friendwick. Second place. Friendwick. Third place. I'm thank you. Thank you. Doing good, yeah. Raymond yeah. Irving, fourth place. Where's your other number in there? Where's your other one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Got it. Got it. On you go, Adam. We'll follow you. Now, Raymond. Raymond Irvin, very famous from this farm in life. What's that number? What's your number? Two oh five one in fifth place. That's Crossland, uh, Kim Crossland. Good judge. Pardon? Is he a good judge? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he's sorting them out. Yeah, yeah, he's doing well. Yeah, yeah, doing okay. I'm just... I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> no, you nasty Six. things like that, that's fine. Yeah, he's doing a good job. Yeah, they're good classes here this year. Thank you. Yeah. you Sixth from place, 205. No, I'm from here, sir. You are? Dear the farmer. Oh, yeah. Keep any sheep? We used to, Did you? years ago, we used to bother Leicester. Uh, 253 from Raymond Irvin again. Good long years and milk results results at the same sure time. Not. Correct. Yeah, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. Uh, I must admit, I like the board of Leicesters. Yeah, they're good shape. I don't know where they are. I've never seen them today. I haven't been round yet. You haven't seen fourth. Fourth. We don't know where the borders are. are. Nice. Yes. So, so fourth be, was you know, here. Uh, not here. The Highland flock of Raymond oh, Irving, and yeah. fifth. And I've looked there and I couldn't see anything either. But, uh, so you come from England. Was yeah. Kim Crossland, 205-1. Right. And, um, yeah, and then we're six up, uh, for two days with Julian yesterday, the Highland Judge the Shetland Flock. Ponies. Again. And I did it two years ago in the Valleys and on the Valleys and then back home to Devon tonight. Right, right. Go back. right. But yeah, we come up a fair bit to... Um, Come up to Aberdeen, Shetland Sales, and uh, always with the valleys. Quite involved, always been involved with the society. So it's a good show here. We don't usually leave home together, but I enjoy this show so much. We both come up. It's a lovely event. Sheep, cattle, and equines is cracking here. Yeah, one of the best shows in the country. Groups of three now. Yeah, groups of three. Drawn from the classes of the previous uh, the the previous championships. Classes. I'm going to have a little chat with my friend Julian. Yeah, that's it. Everybody knows him. Yeah, yeah, everyone knows Raymond. Yeah, he knows. Right, sir. <laughs> yes. So what are you thinking? No problem. No problem. Uh, that was, yeah, that was a, good a lovely show. ULAM good class. Show, yeah. um, I, the I mean, my first four could have gone so anyway, really. Um, I just... Was it? Do you speak to him? Yeah, yeah. Just one Sorry. prize. Exactly. Well, Julian's parents, see, they're Cornwall one, dairy farmers. One prize yeah. for the group of three. Pick that out of the yeah. sawdust. Now, ULAM class. ULAM class for me. They were cute. He's got a good <laughs> yeah, the morning just cute. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, the, the first, so, you know, I, unusual for me to swap them at the end. Well. It was just the head on the first prize ewe lamb that made me the, swap them. The breeders uh, from it, the, um, just a, the a nice board. So, are you enjoying yeah. yourself? Uh, yeah, loving no, it. Yeah, it's really good. It's nice to be judged at the Highlands. So, yeah, definitely. We would have made a few mistakes on the live stream because it's live. So we apologise for some of the mistakes for the judging. And if the, but the judging, all the, all the results can be picked up 
from the Valley website. website. So, you know, nothing in life is perfect. We do our best. Um, I was in hospital with sepsis, which I want to highlight, last November. And uh, sepsis is extremely dangerous in the farming industry, and that's what I want to highlight. And thank goodness we're here to watch these beautiful sheep. And the group of three is a male, has to be at least a, one male with two females. Thank you very much, Julian. All right. Yes, the group of three is one prize only. That's one prize. I don't know how many groups there is. Do you? Only one prize. A male and two females. Um, and uh, as I was just saying to Julian, I was in hospital last November with sepsis. Oh, yeah. And for two weeks, and extremely dangerous. And I want to highlight. I want to highlight sepsis as a extremely dangerous uh, disease for the uh, agricultural industry. The one person that I think about a lot is uh, young Hannah Brown. Hannah showed livestock all her life, 26 years old, lost her life four years ago to sepsis um, during lambing. The results there coming in from the Beltex ring, class number 124 for the aged ram. And Thank you. In that class was number um, so, so yeah, I. Uh, Second, it's a one, very, very four, dangerous eight, disease, um, and becoming more Third, prevalent. Number one four four five um, from uh, Harry Asquith. Fourth, and I think one, we four, should. Four, uh, fourth, A &J we should highlight it as Fifth, much as possible. One, four, four, from, uh, through through the farm and it's a very difficult uh, one it's four, 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 six, very similar to having flu uh, you get a temperature and then you have what they call rigors where you start to shake when you have a bad flu and if you get rigors and start to shake get yourself to hospital immediately because then you are in serious trouble thanks for that that's my little bit um, groups of three yeah, they're coming in fast and furious. They're not the easiest breed to move. The bigger one, I thought. Yeah, they're quite. People don't realise how big a sheep they are. And results from the North Country Mule class there, the, the Gimmer Lamb class. Um, it was a big entry in that class there. First was number 1401 from a hunter. Second, number 1403 from C. James. Third, number 1398 from Gavin, Gavin and Abby White. Fourth, number 1395 from Martin Archer. And fifth, number 1393 from Martin Allen. Yeah, they kept well. Because like this time of year, when they got from the Swiss Alps, the pastures lovely it's, it it's natural and it's, it's all wild it's flowers all yeah and, uh, yeah it's lush yeah. really lush and then in the winter they come down off the hill and the mountains and they go indoors and um well yeah the stables the barns are in under the houses a lot of them like years ago but they're kept small flocks but when they go up in the mountains they're they're put together like four five hundred in a group and they run can it open plant or open uh, yeah. line three, three. and usually they have um, a couple of shepherds that stay with them all the time. The, the owners take turns for right. weeks. Where are the foxes? Are the wild? Ba uh, wolf. Wolves. They right. got a real right. wolf problem out there. Right. The wolves got reintroduced to the uh, mountains, and yeah, right. that is their biggest problem. So wolf. Yeah. <laughs> and they've even talked about doing that over here on our uh, hill ground. Well, it's these bugs. Yeah. 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 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like our, our judge, John Jackson, has decided on his championship. And uh, what a lineup we have in front of us today. A real credit to the North of England real breeders. A fantastic lineup of sheep. Four really special champions in their classes. And the champion goes to the Club Guild Hog. From Jai Robinson, Intac. And then comes the second prize. Clip, clip, talk for the reserve judging. So, group of three then, David. Yep, Julian's working his way through. What's he going to be looking for? Matching? Matching. Matching. It's totally different from the class. Like some of these groups that have been winning prizes, but it's a total different class, the group. So it's and the, the, the best, for the youth of the best group of sheep that John, match. John Ackerley. Um, like you said, some so of the, you see, some gentlemen. of the groups are different Overall ages, champion. mixed well, ages. So you want them to match in uh, the wool? Male tight. and two females. Yes, Very sir. hard work to get a, a male and two females to match. Exactly. exactly. A big exactly. thank you to John Smith Jackson for his excellent judging and all the exhibitors and the, the big crowd is trying to show a great interest in this breed. So well done everybody. A big round of applause. And what's thank hard you. with this is only one prize. One prize. One prize. And I think he's I think our decision. judge has made his mind up. Here we go. Yeah, and there he goes. Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Robbie. Well, Julian, talk us through that group of three. Uh, a group of three, in my opinion, should match. They should. They should be of um, similar stature and. And look like peas in the pod. You know, that's a purpose of a group of three for me. It shouldn't be three good individuals. The ring, the they should be three, one, two, a group two, of three together as a unit. So uh, my winning group of three was that for me. And those group of three were from? Second. Pardon? Number they one, were from four, three, three, um, the white... Third number one four three zero AJ Carter. I can find out. Yeah, we'll get Fourth, the number. number one, four, three, and it's Robbie Taylor. I think and it's fifth, Robbie Taylor. Number one four three two, Patricia Imler. Robbie Taylor. Yes. This is your group of three. Yes, it is. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You chuffed a bit. Highland Show, Royal Highland Show, group of three. Yeah. Fantastic result. Absolutely delighted. You'll be absolutely over the moon. Yeah, yeah. No, three absolutely stunning sheep uh, for me. Anyway, uh, represent everything the breed should represent. Uh, lovely big long fringes, lovely black faces. All got length. All got power. Yeah, it's exactly what you want. Well done to the handlers. That's it. It's Katrina Taylor as well. Well all, done, folks. All, all down to her. Well done. Thank you. So now the groups have gone back. They'll get ready for their championships. In ring seven, our judge Will Owen is uh, sorting out a very big class here of uh, Beltex Shearling Tufts. Uh, fill the ring, and not just fill the ring, but everybody's three deep around the outside. Uh, a lot of interest in, in this breed. So it's um, championship time.
And as we said earlier, the accolade of winning a Royal Highland Show Championship is immense. Absolutely immense. I was in the limousine ring yesterday. We were live streaming the limousine cattle ring yesterday. Yeah. And uh, Ian Nimmo won the overall Supreme Championship with a heifer and his wife um, passed away a couple of months ago after being diagnosed with cancer and it was six weeks from the diagnosis. It was a very emotional limousine ring yesterday um, and we have to remember you know, we're only here for a short time. We make the best of it. We make mistakes on the way, um, but we love our livestock. Exactly, exactly. Well, two years ago, I was judging the Shetland ponies here and my champion and the owner had passed away six months previous with COVID and, he, and his family had the champion Shetland pony here. And that, Makes you realise in the Valley Black Nose how short life is. Yes. Ring class one six one was completed. That's the Ulam. Uh, first in that class was number two zero five three from Raymond Irvin. Second number two zero five six from Prendwick Farm. Third number two zero five seven again from Prendwick Farm. And fourth number two zero five nine again from Raymond Irvin. And fifth two zero five one from Kim Crossman. Here's Raymond, bringing yeah. the... Uh... Struggling in. Yeah. You off? What? Yeah. Right, here's another of my helpers, young Kirsty Sloan. Kirsty live-streamed the Aberdeen Angus and Simmental yesterday. Now, you must love these cute Valley Black Notes. Yeah, they're definitely different from some of the um, more traditional breeds that we've found in the UK. Um, and they're pretty new to UK farming. Um, they are pretty adorable. It's interesting to have a feel underneath the wool at the moment though because um, the shape is very different to what it looks like on the outside. Um, so if you ever get a chance to have a feel of them, um, it's a, actually very interesting to feel the shape from underneath the, the, the mass of wool. Thank you. Now that is off the cuff, not pre-scripted. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kirsty's uh, live streamed at the Aberdeen Angus yesterday. Had some wonderful comments from America and Europe, and uh, she's a star. She does the commentary for the two cattle breeds, Angus and Simmental, yesterday. So here we go, David. Talk us through it. What's happening? David, talk us through it. Right, here we are, Julian. Now he's, he's got the males forward. So there's the first part of Ram Lam he's looking at the moment. Going through bone, wool. And that now, Ram Lam is from Mr. Raymond Irvin. Raymond Irvin. And then he moves over to the winning Ram. It's from Pembroke, Mr. Jamie Wood. So he needs a champion and a reserve here. Handling the back, see what the handle like, what the flesh is like. Looking at the stance. Looking to see what the breed character is like, the over outlook. You can feel the tension building. Back at the second prize. Results minute. in the last class of the blue face, tradition, blue face Leicester traditional type. Uh, class number 97, that was the U Lambs. And first in that class was 1154 J and M Turner. Second, number 1156 from Alan McClellan at Kirkstead. At third, number 1149 from Hazel Brown. Fourth, number 1155 for M and N Gray. Fifth, number 1153 from Sophie Harding. And sixth, number 1152 
Alex Gray. So we move on to the championship now in the blue face Leicester ring. There he is, Julian's now weighing up the two rounds. Both two worthy first prize they winners. Two good sheep. Lovely ram lamb and a lovely top. Gone for the older sheep of Pembroke Farm, Mr. Jamie Wood, and reserve Mr. Raymond Irvin. So that's where they've gone with him, David. That's where he's gone for his males. The stewards come forward with the presentations. Society Sash. Give me Society Bell. I love those bells. Yeah, good. Lovely to win. And then the reserve. So next we will move on in a female champion. Now we have offered, uh, Robert Smith Livestream has offered to sponsor at Carlisle. Very good I believe it's sponsoring a bell, is it? I think yeah, it's sponsoring, yeah, we're a, sponsoring bell. a bell for one of the classes. And that's very good of you. Right, here he goes now. We've got the shooting you here in front of us, Mr. Robbie Taylor's. Then we've got the first prize Ram Lamb to the right of Mr. Raymond Irvin's. This is the females. Yeah, this is the females. So it's you, Lamb. Yeah, yeah. the ewe lamb in the middle. This is a shearling ewe. And he's just going through the wall. Final points. And that's his second prize female that he's handling now. So the champions in the, the Valley Black Nose now being judged. The male champion has already been pulled out there, which is the Ram, um, which was number 1995 from Trenbrook Farm, and the reserve champion it was uh, Ram Lamb, number 212017, rather, from Raymond Irvin and Jenny McAllister. The judge is now going to the championship of the females. There we go. Champion female. Champion female is um, Robbie Taylor. Yeah. And do we know the reserve? Or? It's Ricky. Um, I don't know his prefix. So, like, what's the name? Shall I go and find out? Yeah, you find. Ricky, reserve female. Aye. Is Ricky? It's Harding's view. Harding. Harding's view. Harding's view. I heard uh, Robbie Taylor yep. pulled it out the bag again. And now we have the championship of the females. The female championship. Right. Can I help you? 
And that You'll goes to the U, they said, well yeah. done to Robbie Taylor there from What's Whiteley. that? What do you understand? So the nerves over here will be ting jangling. Oh, it's not mine. <laughs> the reserve champion also goes to the be Oh, I, I think it's the first the prize. Yes, so in the class, and you were second in the class. So this is female oh, champion, yeah. you're reserve female. female. So it's between Raymond but Irvin with the... Prendwick Tup. No, he went for the, your second prize female as reserve yeah, of the ULAM. Robbie Taylor. No. Got it? Um, I just don't understand anything. They're all done. So we're going out between the Prendwick Tup and the, and the boys from Ayrshire. Yeah. So this is overall? Yeah, it's overall now. So you up all weekend? Yeah, we were, um, Julian was judging Shetlands yesterday, so we came oh, up on Wednesday. Nerves are jangling. Go back later. Like the bell. Have some lunch in a minute. And then... So you're going up to Kelso with him to do the board And this... Uh, yeah. This yeah, is our said, supreme yeah, accolade yeah, he's two days, for the championship no, doing, at the Valley yeah, Black Nose yeah, Show. I'm doing Royal Welsh, my next one. You down Royal Welsh? David? Yeah. Can we talk us through this yeah, one? Yeah, now Julian's weighing up for the supreme champion and the, the reserve Jed, Jed, Julian supreme. Julian Walters, all the way from Devon, has enjoyed so his day, I'm sure. So we've got the female he's champion here the on our left, he's handling. Pulling in the supreme championship in, in this breed. A lot two, of interest, of course, always around the Valley Black Nose. lovely quality. And... Two lovely sheep. Both seven. would present the breed tomorrow in the interbreed with no problem. Good on their feet. Upstanding. Plenty of breed. Quality. Julian Walter. Walters. 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 Walters from Cornwall. Julian Walters from Cornwall, our judge. There. Here he goes. There we go. He's gone for the ram. It's the Prendwick the ram. Pembroke ram the champion. Pendwick, is it? Yeah, Pendwick no. ram champion. And reserve is Bobby Taylor's ram. shielding you. What do we call the man, the Prendwick man? Bobby Taylor. No, the... Jamie Woods. Prendwick is Jamie Woods. Yeah. Jamie Woods, dreams come true. Yeah, um, yeah. A Highland show, the Royal Highland, Highland champion, eh? The yeah, that's him, the champion, yeah. Congratulations to all the exhibitors of the Valley Black Nose. Brilliant, fantastic. First time at the Highland show. Congratulations to the judges as well, coming up from Devon, and everybody else involved in this breed there. Well done. Julian Walters, our judge. Have you got to present the reserve championship? Yeah, done. Can I talk to our judge, Mr. Stewart? Julian Walters, tell us a bit about these two. Uh, two great examples of the breed. I mean, this ram has got width through the head, he's got power, he's got condition, he's got good limb, he's got good bone, he's got a nice fleece, he's got everything I'm looking for in a top quality show show. I'm a female champion, she's the same. I mean, lovely bone, and such a beautiful fleece, a super head, and that's, you know, these two shone out for me, so that's why they had to be champion on reserve. Great job, and it's been a wonderful show of Valley Black Nose, and it's been a pleasure um, talking to you and wish you a very safe trip back to Cornwall. I'd just like to uh, thank all the exhibitors for coming under me. Um, I judge the sheep. I do not judge faces. I judge what I like to see. So, you know, I've, hopefully I've judged everyone fairly, and um, I put up what I like. Well, you, you've made a fantastic job. You've given everybody the time of day, the right, everybody the uh, same amount of time, and it's been a pleasure. Thank you very Thank much. You. So that concludes our judging. Thank you, da Thank you, David, for That's all right. your help. No problem. Keeping me right. I am no expert on these. No, I think you're learning fast. I needed some help. And we'll see you um, at Black Beauties. we we'll see you at Black yeah. Beauties. Uh, Good along. It's been an honor and a pleasure. Thank see you. you. Again. See you at Black Beauties. Thank you very much. All right.